Hello friends out there in YouTube land, I'm Robert Ham with Robert Ham Photography and today I just wanted to share with you some little photos that I've been printing up. Here's some images from photo booths that I do, all custom images, and these are printed on my DNP DS80 and printed out using Lightroom. Um, I like booth software, but it's really expensive, I use Lightroom. Right now we're actually going to get into the crux of this. This is part of my shoot film and the images like this that you see with this large white border are all processed through the Find Lab, this 4x6 on Fuji Crystal Archive paper. These particular images were photographed. Uh, they were using my Canon EF um, and uh, Fuji Supra 200 film. And so uh, there we go. I just uh, This is what we've got. Unfortunately, halfway through, um, I did open the back of the container or back of the camera without rewinding the film for whatever reason. You know, you get to Bush Garden, sometimes you lose your mind. <laughs> and some of the images uh, you'll see in here, I'll show you, have a little bit of light burnt on them. But Fine Lab did a great job saving these images. The nice part is um, I really like this paper. I really like the whole process. To get a roll to the Fine Lab processed and brought back um, with these prints cost me about $35 total, including $5 to ship it to them by UPS. And then, you know, $20 to have them print and develop the prints for me. And then $10 for them to ship it back. Um, there's some of that light leak that you see right there. But they were able to save it. Here's one of the most beautiful images that came out of there. I had a great time walking around. I think film um, is something, I mean, this is really quite interesting to me. And I really enjoy it. So not only did I have a good time uh, photographing the images, the fine, lab did a, the fine Lab did a good job fixing my images. These are taken from a Canon, excuse me, a Pentax KX. They're printed on the DNP DS80, the 3x5, and they're just uh, they have a little quarter inch border that I put on there. And I used the matte setting when I printed it on the DNP DS80. You get that uh, ability if you've got a Windows machine and, and the current update. And I really, really quite enjoyed it. Once again, Fuji Superior 200. Um, both of these uh, sets of images on both cameras, I was using a 50 millimeter lens. Uh, here is something interesting. I decided to do some things uh, with the Fine Labs processed version that they sent me, plus printing my own and editing the, the image that they sent me. So, who are we on the left of Fine Lab? Here we have on the right my edited image. So, the left is what I got from the Fine Lab, the right is what I printed on my DNP DS80. And you know what? I can't tell which one I like more. I like the, the blue saturation I was able to bring back into it on the right, but I also like that faded, old timey kind of look. Here we've got my youngest little buddy and um, of course messed up that photo a little bit so black and white makes it right. <laughs> Add a little bit of sharpening was able to really save it. Once again a charming little photo. Uh, as we move into this next series, this was pretty cool. I really liked it because uh, my youngest was holding up a map and it was looking out into everybody there at Bush Gardens um, and the one on the right uh, is the one that I printed from that was able to uh, to edit so uh, that's that's pretty neat so you, you there's a lot of latitude that you've got with these images from the find lab I get uh, images that are about between 7 and uh, 10 megabytes in size the other images that uh, I use I did develop through Walmart and uh, just to see and so for 10 bucks I get a set of prints and a CD but unfortunately the image is about one-tenth to one twenty, uh, one fifth the size, right at um, you know one and a half to two and a half megabytes for me um, so, uh, from the thirty-five millimeter frame that they scan. Here we're just looking at the different sheens from the Fuji Crystal Archive paper and the Imaging Spectrum paper that I use in my DNP DS eighty. Uh, and there you go. There's that uh, Fuji Crystal Archive. I like that. Guys, I'm Robert Ham with RobertHamPhotography.com. Catch me over on Twitter at Rob Ham Photo. You can find me on both Facebook and YouTube at forward slash Robert Ham Photography. Please, if you like this, smash that like button and subscribe. Keep shooting, my friends.